CCTV in drone camera inspection at 20 Bedivere Drive, Ormo. Going up from the invert, the accessible point, and the camera at the back corner of the property. Okay. Okay, straight up here, you can see that this pipe is back falling at this section. 1.3 to 1.4, we're sitting in the drink. Just come back and look at that step up. Okay, so we got to jump up the back of the hill. Okay, at four metres you can see a junction which connects the back of the house left to right. Okay, at 8.4 you can see that it's been laid in a bit of hard ground. There's a bit of a, a rocky bump on the base of the pipe. Okay, 20 metres, you can see that that's a connection into a downpipe. You can see the storm flex coming in. Okay, at about 20.8, you can see that it's starting to backfall. sag in the line right there. So 23 metres she comes out of the sag. That sag picks up silt and rubbish and doesn't clear. Like that in the front of the camera. You can see the garbage in that line and that's what causes it to block. I'll try and push past that. Okay, you can see that we've just pushed up against a whole heap of slurry. It picks up the stormwater grates. We're going forward. I can't see a thing. And the camera is basically covered in rubbish. I'm going to have to retrieve it and try and get up past this point. Okay, we're at this 20.6 mark where we're starting to hold water, as you can see. Now it hasn't rained for some time. You can actually see the sludge mark where it sits, so the backfall is probably worse than that. You can see the sludge line about an inch and a half higher. It'll come round. This is the only accessible point into this drainage.
Okay. So this line is back falling all the way. Which picks up yard gullies. Hence the silt in the line. As you can see, it's full of silt, full of rubbish. And that's what's going to happen because it doesn't cleanse it. It just sits. I'll try and push around this corner. 27 metres, we're right up the top of the drain. And that's... <laughs> you can see that crusty build-up of rubbish. <sighs> About 29.6. And that's what blocks your drainage. And that's as pretty much as far... I'll try a little bit further, but we are up 30 metres pushing against rubble that is it that's as far as we can go as I say it does hold water and silt up this line actually takes the downpipe from the front near the entry takes yard gullies as well which takes silt which is what you see you can see the massive silt lining that pipe it's not broken whoever it is holding, as you can see, holds and back falls from that point. So it's going to hold that silt and choke that pipe, which we have run the jet through previous. So we've got that back fall at 20 metres to about 24 metres. All this line down the side of the house is fine. You can see there's no sludge mark up the sides. It runs as it should. And that's why the jet was going underwater. 3.5, as I say, that's the turn between the left and right banks manifolds off to the opposite of the rear downpipe. Down the jump up. Down the depth, and it back falls right there. You can see the sludge line there as well. It looks like it backfalls a lot further, probably half the pipe. Once again, a silt trap. And into the manhole. As we sit, there's the entrance into the manhole of the house drain. This concludes our CCTV in-drain camera inspection at 20 Bedivere Drive, Ormo.